Dame Julie, lovely to have you on the program. Thank you, Lee. It's lovely to be here. Auditioning is excruciating enough, but I can only imagine the gut-churning terror when you come in to audition for the role of Eliza Doolittle and your director is Julie Andrews. You know what? I think any director is intimidating and I hope to make people feel as easy as possible because I know where they're coming from. I've been there myself. Were you much prone to nerves yourself as a young performer? I still am in every way. Yeah, everything one does in life, as you well know, is a learning experience and you so want to get it right and do it well for everybody's sake. So how do you try to put the performers at ease when they come into audition? Oh, chatting to them and um, really paying attention to what they're doing. I don't brush anybody off lightly, believe me, because they're so hardworking and so eager and that I do appreciate that. It must be bringing back some extraordinary memories for you. Mm rather different than I had expected. Not, oh, I remember singing that, or I remember doing that, or, oh, I wish I could, or if only, none of that. It's more an understanding of this great show and why it had such impact. And, I mean, I'm so busy focusing on, on myself as a young girl and learning that it's only now that I'm truly appreciating the structure, the each song is memorable. I wonder if that sense of how it all fits together comes from not only experience but also being a director as opposed to someone mm -hmm. playing a part in it where you're well, focused of course, on. Of course and my delight now is to be directing pieces and I'm loving it and um, never thought some 50, 60 years ago that I would be asked to direct this one day. Who could have possibly guessed? Not me. When you opened this show on Broadway, you were the most extraordinary hit, and then you had rapid success with uh, The Sound of Music and Mary Poppins. You had a lot of success. Well, it wasn't you. so rapid. I had a lot of learning on my well, feet. You did. And a you lot did. of a huge long run in My Fair Lady. And then, of course, after that on Broadway, Camelot. So this great success came to you with a, a number of things that, yes. that had worked, that most people in their career would be happy to have had one of those things. I know. You had I know. them all together. How did that degree of success affect you coming as it did? Oh, I think it was an enormous impact. Super califragilistic, expialidocious, even though the sound of it is something quite atrocious. If you say it loud enough, you'll always sound precocious. Super califragilistic, expialidocious. The thing that I all, never forgot and still remember to this day is that I'm the lucky lady that was asked to do these wonderful things. And um, gosh, as you say, anybody would be thrilled to have one of them, let alone to be asked to be in The Sound of Music or Poppins or um, My Fair Lady or even some of the later films. I've been very, very lucky. The hills are alive with the sound of music. Songs they have sung for a thousand years.